Hey everyone, so this is a different kind of typology interview. Um, I actually caught an interview with Uzair um, on Kendrick's channel, and he was a little bit surprised at your play last. He, he said, there's no way your play last, no way, no way. So I just wanted to dig into that and, and give you a chance maybe to defend yourself or express yourself or whatever it is you want to say about it. Yeah. So like, tell me a little bit about uh, your struggles with play last, first of all, what's so difficult about it. So I think, um, first of all, like we, we kind of briefly mentioned right. before the thing, who, who knows if I'm play last, who knows, who knows if typology is even real, right? Yeah, exactly. I, you know, you, you have to, you have to kind of keep that in the back of your head, right? So in my understanding of of what it means i don't really see the animals as like oh blast is talking and sleep is thinking and play is right. like i don't i don't i don't think i think if if you would explain animals like that to someone outside who has no uh concept of op they're like you're crazy everybody does that and everybody yeah. does do it right yeah and like we, we've kind of like gotten into this thing of like oh that's what they mean and clearly it doesn't reflect reality uh so so how do i make sense of the animals to me they're like motivations of like, so I, I was also talking before the, this this interview. Like, I had planned for to have like a whole set of things to say uh, on this interview. I don't want to because like like and why why do I do that, right? So I'm I'm typed like sleep consume blast. And how does that make sense in the context of my type? It's because I don't I want to say I want to I want to think about what I'm going to say. I want to consume for what purpose so that my plan doesn't get screwed up, right? And then I want to say what I want to say, and I want to I want to like direct the conversation in the way that I want, right? And then and then I'll 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 all of that is is to what? Is to avoid just like general random like I guess you could call yeah. it play, right? Yeah, that um, makes sense. Yeah. So it'll be it's like you're doing some kind of pseudo play in order to avoid play. Yeah, and I, I think one of the things I've learned is that oh, you have to do this thing. So like so like I I realize what you, what, what play uh serves as for me is that it, it sends people down, it, le it lets me build, um, you need, like, people need play to, to build trust, right? Like, yeah. if I go on, if I if I meet you and all of a sudden I'm directing you in a certain direction, that kind of like, it kind of, it kind of undermines trust. Do you know what I mean? And I think that right. um, if I look at our earlier interviews, your and mine, I think, um, I think at a certain point you became a little bit skeptical of like me always trying to push them something in one, one direction and then everybody has a different reaction to it and uh -huh. it, what does it result in it results in more chaos right and right. so i think the point of play is to kind of show hey we're on the same page we kind of need the same thing i'm not trying to push you in any direction but how about once that's set how about this direction right right okay i get that that some people could pick it up as like uh, an ulterior motive or something like that is what you're trying to say it's yeah like it, yeah you have a it, plan it, for the conversation it is it is in a way right, right? um because like because it's, it's like also if you describe it in that way right like before my kendrick interview uh, i'm very embarrassed to admit i watched like 20 hours of his videos you know what i mean and i was like i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say that i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna say that like the whole interview like like the interview starts off with me uh kind of making fun of his camera setup right and i do it in the, in the moment as if like it just came up to me like oh oh yada yada, yada you right know? But yeah, I thought yeah, about yeah. doing that like five days before. I was like, okay, I think that's because, because. Wow. So like you completely planned your play, like exactly how you're going to play and you made it look and come off authentic in the moment. Yeah. It's, and it's not necessarily to show like authentic play. It's to, it is, it is to kind of like build rapport. Right. It's, it's, it's to, it's, it's to build rapport and also break certain expectations that he, I know he has. Right. Because. Uh -huh. I, kn I knew that he was kind of going in, say, like, like, um, expecting me not to be like high energy. He even kind of like messaged me. He's like, "Oh, I know the the, the play last interviews are very awkward." And uh, you uh, wanted to subvert the expectations. I, yeah, I was also kind of. Yeah. I was a little bit to be to be. I, I'm sure he's gonna watch this. Maybe I was a little bit annoyed about that, and so I was like, "I, I can show. I can be high energy. Anybody can be high energy. You know, right. like, yeah, for sure. It's just how long can you hold it for, and you know how, yeah." How, yeah yeah how responsible are you to do it on a regular basis with people and stuff exactly so, yeah. yeah but but i mean like obviously you had to learn something in order to do it right like you you don't you can't just play out of the blue you have to you have to I practice think, it or something i think you have to you have to understand like what is it that people are trying to to do right like what do they need so so 
under the context of who knows if this is play, right? I know certain things work and certain things don't work, right? I think the, the TI is like, okay, it's like I'm trying, I want something and then something always gets in my way, right? And what is that thing? Okay. Oh, you learn like a new tool and then you start using that. So like one of the tools I learned early on is that to show that uh, people have a lot to talk about, which mm -hmm. is again, rapport building, is that you just stack a bunch of questions in a, in a short amount of time, right? So again, like taking uh, like the first few minutes of my Kendrick interview, it's like, oh, we're starting. Oh, hey, this this camera. Oh, and then this and this and then that. I right. personally find that very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. people like it. But people like okay. it. And so you have to do it, you know, because you have to do what uh -huh. people like. Uh, so you planned out the rapport building aspect of the video, like the yeah, beginning. I, yeah. I, I know when I meet a new person, I'm going to like, if they if it's something they're responding to, I'm going to like uh, stack a bunch of questions or, or, you know, or stack a bunch of observations. Um, and like, I, I didn't think of that as play when I learned it. But I know that it works, and I know that, right. yeah. Um, and the other things you can do is that I, I'm always kind of like I want to a little bit go towards blast, right, without pissing people off. Um, mm -hmm. And so another way you can do that is that let's say if I say um, that I I I watch a lot of your videos and I notice that you do certain things, and so when I'm in an interview with you, I I just try to make sure that I keep those things in mind, right? Right. And then that's going to make that's generally going to make you be like wait what sort of th what what things do i do right well i yeah i'm sure i'm yeah, sure maybe, I do things. yeah it makes maybe, sense to me but but i mean to say is that is that it might pique your curiosity to be like oh what are those things to, I, like and direct the conversation in that direction right because i'm saying that thing and it's just like it's like there's a it's it's a what is that called it's kind of like it's kind of like a invitation to conversation right it's like a little thing that sticks out as in like for you to ask more about right um oh and, like you're gonna leave me you're gonna leave me like little uh like th things for me to latch on to it's like yeah, bait, it's like exactly. little bait, you're gonna right? leave me bait so that i i grab it yeah yeah so you're planning and, the little bait. and even if you know that that's kind of like bait yeah you you might just be curious like okay even if it's bait just tell me let me let's hear it you have something to say let's hear it let's hear it right well yeah exactly like that's the whole point of the interview is to get you talking to get you saying what you got to say right so I mean, right Sure. Give me as much bait as you want. It makes it easy for me. <laughs> I don't have to create things out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so, and so then, then I'm saying, I, I'm saying something that you're asking me a natural question. Like the question comes from you and then I'm answering it and I'm answering it from my known information of like, oh, now I'm going to talk about this thing that I said that I was going to say. Right. Right. It comes off as like very natural conversation. Uh-huh. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I do something similar with play as well. Like, um, I already have a conclusion that I've come to, right? This this idea. And I want the other person to also get this idea. And I'm trying to think, what's the best way to give it over? And it's like, oh, let's... So what I do is I'm like, okay, let's rediscover it together. Let's go through yeah. the discovery process together. So I'll start by asking them a question to get them thinking about what the answer I want them to think of. And then I'll just sort of like nudge them and guide them so that they finally get there. And then I'm like, oh, great job, you know? And really, it's what I wanted to give over the whole time. But it's like, yeah, I don't know. That, that, that's a great way to do it. I, yeah, I, I, I maybe do that in my regular life. Maybe I have a little bit less patience to do that generally. Right. I wouldn't do that in an interview because I'm like very conscious of like, oh, it needs to be short. It needs to be punchy. People need to like it. And so oh, wow. I'm not gonna sit there in the interview of like, I'm like, I'm not consciously, I'm consciously aware of that all the time. Um, Interesting. But, that's that's well i guess that that's relevant to this because that's i'm demon sf as well right my my play last is sefe so i'm demon sf right uh, well it's play last and it's also your your demon function so i mean yeah yeah so yeah. um so yeah that's 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 another thing that i don't i still need to understand like yeah it's what you're striving to do it's what you're trying to it's what you're trying to solve you're trying to get more into the sf so that it's like what you're missing it's your void yeah i guess so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so to give us some little tr tips and tricks. If someone <laughs> out there is play last, what, what do you do? Like you just plan all your conversations weeks beforehand. And I think, um, so, okay, so my, my other theory on this is that I think that I'm play last relative to who, right? Is it, it's not the population it's to myself. It just means that I'm more sleep than play. And I could be That's a good question because like Dave and Shen always talk about the spectrum and and people on mass like what do they call it? 
like the whole yeah, mass yeah. of people yeah the spectrum right. of people and like that's they're like okay where do you fit in on the spectrum and i think that's really what how they type you but i mean also relative to yourself like as long as you're getting better at it every day yeah but but just like if i'm sleep above plate maybe i'm maybe i'm just like not that sleepy you know what i mean like and so um hmm. like we, we were talking we were talking before this interview we don't have to go deeply into this is that i think on the surface you look way higher sleep than I than I am, you know. Um, okay. And so, I don't know what's going on with that one. This is a problem with play, is that you end up right. in dead end directions. <laughs> but you, you had a point. So, okay. So, so like, okay. So that I've found is something with blast, where it's like, okay, you have a, a message you want to give over. You have a lesson, like you want to. You have this lesson you wanted to give over. And yeah, that yeah. I don't know. You, you want to get there. You've got the end, and then you have to figure out how to get there in the moment. Yeah, or not necessarily in the moment. You just have to. You have to. Yeah. You have to have. You have to have some like some like something to say, right? Um, right. But beginning, middle, of and end sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think I mentioned like I want. I want. I didn't end up like prepping for this interview. Like what I would want to have done. I actually was was not one hundred percent sure if it was happening actually, because okay. <laughs> because we we didn't schedule a time right. And so I was right. like, oh, is he, you know what I mean? Like, I wasn't sure if it was going to happen. And so then I kind of like didn't um, really uh, think about it too much. <laughs> well, we did set a date and I, and I figured like, I figured we were, I don't know. I don't know why we didn't set a time. It doesn't make any sense. I looked at it today. I was like, you were on my schedule. And I'm like, we didn't set a time. So yeah, yeah. last minute time. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Did that make you that uncomfortable, that thing? that w the the not setting the time yeah not setting the time really just the last minute scheduling yeah made you well not not the, not the fact that it's like last minute and then it's just that i feel like i feel like the stakes are high and uh -huh. i feel like not this, they're not super high but just like i'm not going to get to say all the things that i wanted to say if i thought about it you know what i mean right like and i think another thing about like I, I think another thing about like my saviors is that um is I try to think like how do saviors make sense to me? I think they make sense to me in the sense that anything, anytime something goes wrong, when I do the post mortem, like who gets blamed? And uh -huh. to me, it's it's actually the saviors that get blamed. It's like right. um, in in our last interview, I remember I had planned to say one thing uh, later in the interview, but I said it earlier, and it completely derailed the interview. Okay, <laughs> and and what was my reaction afterwards? I'm like, why didn't you stick to the stupid plan, right? right. When you blame yourself. Sure a bunch of myself, yeah. When, yeah, and then demons, and, you blame other people. And I think demons, I just, I, it's just kind of like, I don't know, like you're, you're gonna react however you react, right? Who is bringing the chaos into it? It's me. Like I, right. people are, people are gonna bring chaos. I cannot bring chaos. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, um, right. and so I'm kind of like, why don't you stick to the stupid plan? Like, um, yeah, but it's you that brought the chaos. It's me that brought the chaos. And and the second thing is is that um is that i could have i could have consumed to avoid this situation um let me let me let me tell you what the situation was you can you can maybe disagree with this it's a little bit All awkward right. so i um i had a theory of like of of, of your type right of like okay. i was like oh your type um you have a st interest in the nf because you're you're blast loud, sorry. Hopefully that's not too loud. Yeah. You got um, a bunch of cool sounds going on there. I love those birds. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm just I'm comfortable in chaos, you know. What can I say? There you go. Yeah. Um, Good peacock. <laughs> Literal yeah. peacock. <laughs> <laughs> so so I said that oh you have an ST uh, fascination with NF. And I was gonna say that later on in the interview when I kind of felt like it was safer to say. But I said it right. early on because I'm like, oh we're, we're, we're kind of vibing, I think I can just Blah, just blurt out something and that kind of derailed the whole conversation and then I, when i was like re-watching the interview i'm like what the hell happened here right huh. and i realized that i kind of i felt that me just saying oh your type makes 100 percent sense which is the underlying belief in that statement it it got a reaction different than what i thought do you know what i mean and how I could i have anything. avoided that is right. if i just like if i knew before that like maybe you're not 100 percent sure about like being blast last or whatever right Right. Um, I'm, yeah. When, even though I could equally just be like, oh, well, I don't know. 
I, I guess also the issue is that I'm not, I'm not I'm not playing enough in the moment, and my blast is not strong enough to bring back the conversation. That's also going on, right? But mm-hmm. I'm kind of like I'm kind of like I guess a part of me is like, oh, those idiots will never figure it out. But you got to sleep consume at least at least sleep consume because that's the easy things to do, you know? Right. Yeah. Okay. So at least that you see the sleep consume. That makes sense to you. It makes it makes sense to me in this specific context, you know, like because yeah. um, it's so crazy. The- like your your demeanor is not like. It's not a mope demeanor. I don't get mope from you at all. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, I I mean I don't I don't I don't I obviously don't like being called a mope, you know. Right. Yeah. I think, obviously. Yeah. I think, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, think, I, mean, I think another thing is that maybe that doesn't come off in the interview. Is that I've I've called I've been called quiet like multiple times in my life, right? Right. Yeah. 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 So like, how do you come off when you're not in an interview? Um, I don't think that I call off quiet. I hate being called quiet. There's nothing in the world I hate more than being called quiet. <laughs> If I get called quiet or shy or something, and it doesn't happen as much anymore, but when that happened when I was like younger, I used to go back and be like, "I'll never let that happen again." You know what I mean? Like wow. that really bothered me to my core, and it's just like because uh, I just it, and it now it bothers me when when other people get qu- called quiet or like or shy, because uh-huh. because what it is is maybe my decider issues are gonna come through now. But what it is, is, is that when you call someone shy or quiet, like you're really boxing them in into that identity. And then then like then if they start speaking up, it's like, oh, now the quiet guy is talking, you know. And right. so um, I really hated that dynamic. And so I've. Yeah, I, I, I never want to be in that situation, nor do I want to put anyone else in that situation. Well, Another I think, thing- yeah, I think it's the same thing with saying, oh, your play last. You can't have a high energy. It's the same sort of thing. It's like you're putting me in a box like who says i can't who says i can't grow like i i have yeah. played last, like you were typed a long time ago before you came on that interview so you've had a long time to to at least practice it and get good at it or fake it in some way yeah I, also people if you're play play last or right. like not that extroverted or or whatever else in life in general right i'm like i'm old i'm 35 now you know uh mm-hmm. i've gone through a lot of like the you know harsher social things to navigate right college school etc yeah um p- like you like you know that's an issue to solve right whether whether you're play last or not like if you can't if you're not able to like up like um have this whole range of, of energy do you know what i mean like it's, it's kind of what I, was, what I was telling kendrick is that l- let's say if you play sports if you play if you play soccer or if you, if you play basketball for someone to be like oh you're right-handed aren't you like literally like in two seconds you're you probably suck you know like mm. I mean, i'm not saying that people like if it's easy to type you second life but i'm just saying that like right, yeah yeah but like you need to you need to solve that issue right if you're if you're if you're quiet and not you're not able to like expend energy you need to fix that you know or if you're like very like play bat blast and you know a lot of play blast people that i'm kind of like missing sleep like or missing zoom that's kind of like right. Like you don't it's, want that. But, but it's also really crazy because in the community you see a lot of play blast people who have calmed down, who have who have like tapped into their their last animal. And it's just great to see. It's like, oh, how did they type you sleep last? It's the same kind of thing. It's like, oh, you've been, you know, you've been getting good at sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I think it gives you something to focus on. Yeah. And and kind of like going back, I just I don't think that the animals are actions in general. I I do think that they're um, kind of inbuilt strategies. I, I do think that I'm probably made to do like sleep consume blast in general, right? Um, which is like like what what is that as a strategy? Like um, it's it's kind of like the strategy of like like old man game of like if you're if you're a soccer player, it's just like let's just figure out the strategy of like what uh, what we should do, see what the team is like, right? That's consume like see what they're like, and then we're gonna like tailor our game and not run a lot and just like pass and just shoot it in like with the least amount of energy possible you know and I, I do think that i'm probably like made that way like i'm not m- made to um just figure out in the moment and expend a lot of energy you know well yeah okay so this is something i've been I, i'm working on a video at the moment i hopefully i'll get it out in a couple of days but um i've been sort of looking into this exact topic and and yeah like this is something i've also seen in other ty- type people is that you'll overdo sleep to get that that play and what otim was saying to me was that like you want your energy to be as effective as possible energy is like very valuable and you want to you want to make sure when you're using it it's effective you don't want to just waste it 
And, yeah. and so when you go out to play, play is just wasting energy. It's throwing energy like everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. So, and so, like, if you do the if you do the sleep first, when you actually go to do the play, you're not wasting the energy. You're like sticking it in exact spots that you've already planned. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I I, I love like traveling with people with like different people because it's you you kind of get to see like their like I know how I, how I travel solo, and when I travel with other people, it's interesting. I, I was traveling with someone who I think is like high high play, maybe like low consume play blast mm -hmm. maybe, and. Uh, we were in Paris and and uh, my friends are like, oh, we should we should go to this mall that we heard is really good, right? So we take a taxi, hour and a half taxi out to go to the mall. And, th and I'm thinking, really, is like the best mall or best shopping some in some kind of like suburb in Paris? And we get there right. and it's like all like, you know, big box brands. And they're like, oh, this place actually sucks. I'm like, you didn't, why would you not, why would you go get in a taxi, like an expensive taxi too, right? Get in a yeah. taxi uh, without like looking at the store list. You know, right. like to me, that's like inconceivable. Yeah, inconceivable to do that. But um, then, like, that's how play learns. Like, they'll just do so many mistakes, waste so much energy, and then you know, eventually figure stuff out. Yeah, I mean, uh, this this same person, uh, she she wanted like a, a painting, and you know, like those those like paintings, like those uh, painters that they have like on the side of the street. She's like, she like looks at a few pictures, and there's like a whole stack. She's like, this guy has like a whole stack of other stuff, right? And she's like, uh, no, I think I like. I know what I like. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that one, and I was like, forget not looking at like the stack that the guy had himself. I would, I wouldn't pick a painting until like the end of my trip, if that. I would honestly, what I would really do is I'd be like, next time I come to Paris, I'm gonna buy a thing after I look at all the stuff that's that <laughs> <laughs> right. Wow. But, um, I think th that's that sort of stuff rather than like, like actions really kind of kind of shows like the the yeah. difference between the animals yeah 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 yeah. that's um because it, it's really anecdotal just to say okay play is how you act in the moment or or that kind of stuff it, it, if you look at like more like that the long life patterns and how you make decisions also and and really what you're talking about here is how you're making decisions yeah yeah um yeah and i think i think the the one thing that i do miss in play still is i do get frustrated if like people start asking a lot of questions that are like that I feel like I've answered already. Um, Did I just do that? No, no, no. <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, like uh, like my mom was visiting and oh, there's a question. Yeah, we can get to that. Finish your thing. First. Oh, okay. So, um, so my mom was was visiting, right? And so so I kind of like let her take over the kitchen, and she's like, and she's. She like comes to me. She's like, okay, uh, what are these both? Are both of these salt? And one was pink and one was white, right? I'm like, yeah. So let me explain the salt situation in the house. The pink <laughs> ones. There's only two types of salt in the house. There's kosher salt and then there's pink chameleon salt. Right. And and then she's like, okay, so then which one is this? And I was like, is it pink? <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> and I was like, let me start again. Two types of salt in the house, right? And she's like, okay, no, but but what is this one? I'm like, is it pink? And she's like, well, what if it's salt? Or what if it's sugar? And I'm like, uh, does, it like does it taste like sugar? I don't know. I, so right. like, that's like that's like me. That's like my lack of play coming. I'm like, I would not if I had to right. go back. I wouldn't act that way. It's obviously like right. me getting aggravated, but it's just like naturally. No, it's a good example. Like Thanks for bringing it up. It's a good example of uh, of play last. It's like you don't have the energy to play with the tribe. Like, I've already yeah. told you all the information you need. Stop asking redundant questions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so ESFP here, and I hate being called quiet too. Would you, wouldn't you say to someone you're way too loud because it's rude? Oh, you wouldn't say that to someone because it's rude. So why is it so acceptable to point out that someone's quiet? That's true. I agree. I think that yeah. it's it's poor uh, etiquette. Yeah, poor etiquette. And as you know, Effie in my stack, even though it's single activated at the bottom, I think it's extremely rude. I, I wouldn't. I would like. I would definitely defend myself, but I, was, I think I would defend someone else if they were being called that. Um, uh -huh. and, uh, and, and what I've, another, another thing that I've learned is that you can make anyone quiet, you know, like, I don't care if you play blast, if, right. if I can, if I can kind of see like the area that you're like, you haven't processed. If I, if I poke at, if a play blast person's, whatever their sleep thing is, uh, they'll get quiet. You know what I mean? Though, cause they have, they have to think about it. They're not that right. it's kind of like a little bit negative headspace. Yeah. Um, anybody, any make anyone yeah. quiet. 
That's 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 the truth of, of the matter, right? And the um, opposite too. If you ask the right question to a sleep first person, they'll have tons of stuff to say about that. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and the thing is, too, interviews you're asking the person about themselves and the sleep first. Like that's the thing they know the best. That's what they're processing all day long. <laughs> so they've got a ton to say on the, about themselves, you know. For sure. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> like one of the, one of the most interesting uh, dynamics I've seen is, is uh, I know we shouldn't talk about other people that you've had on your on, but like, but Rob's interview or Rob, okay, yeah. Rob. I thought like I know all the comments are like, oh, how can he be Lee Fe? He's like, you know, yada yada yada. And I'm like, dude, you're you're, you're like. You're asking someone to process their identity, and supposedly, according to OP, that would be like his his demon. introverted function would be his demon. And it's only been like whatever, like two or three days since he, he even got the type. Right. And you're just like expecting him to just like take your questions yeah. and then kind of he's not going to do that, you know? Yeah. He's not going to do that based on that that type. Who knows if he's that type? But just right. That yeah, yeah. Type would not do that. Well, yeah, and the, he was saying during the interview too that um, I. I usually, you know, just say, okay, whatever in the moment. And then I'll go off and I'll process it on my own later. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which to me seems like a responsibility as well in some way to sleep, even though it's yeah. a demon. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, I think that's, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm all out of content. This is all I got. Oh, awesome. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, I, okay. I, I'm, I'm asking you for blaster tips, I guess. Yeah. Like, uh, just any tips to anyone who's play last? How, how how do you deal with it? I think I think if you're if you're play last or you blast like low, um, I think I think one thing that, that I feel is different. I have a strong desire to blast. I very much care about what I have to say. And to me, if I just like walk into the situation and say the wrong things, or if I don't get to say what I wanted to say, I get really annoyed after, oh. afterwards, right? And so if that's the case, then rely on your demons and do the sleep consume. If you don't know how to play, do you do the sleep consume of like what? Okay, what is it that people are doing? What are these play people doing, right? Um, and another thing that that I noticed is that so I give some of the examples, right? Like stacking the questions, um, kind of like seeding certain conversations that you already have stuff to say about. Um, another another thing is is that I find is that if you go into a new place or you're going to a new dynamic, you need to like spike your energy up front because it sets the dynamic of like like you you want at least my, me my type at least it's better to be in control okay so mm -hmm. again kind of going back to the kendrick interview like like why did I, I i was like i think you can see like higher energy like in the first few few bits and why right. is that is that i kind of want to skew the things i, I kind of want to skew the tone in my direction you know yeah. i want to set the tone and then okay then we can calm it down do you know what i mean right and i think taking control of that is lets you then direct the conversation towards your sleep consume or towards your blast or whatever you want. Um, yeah. And you don't have to, I guess my point is that, is that you should at least be able to play to the point where you play, you get the ball and then you take it where you want it to, you know, like I, to me, that's like a, a okay. simplistic way that I guess my stack animal stack can start using play. And then of course, at some point you just kind of relax and you just, I don't know. Okay. Do so I, this is bad form, I guess, but like basically I have something on play too. If, if yeah, uh, no, yeah. absolutely, of course. Okay, so like this is the thing. Uh, so, if you come to a conversation with already something you want to say, you're not going to be able to act truly play. Like what you're doing is just some kind of fake play. Um, and so, what I've found play is for me, what I've been able to do is just be genuinely interested in the other person. Let go of yourself. Don't bring anything to the conversation, and just try to push them and poke them. Get them to present as much of themselves as they can. Just and just by being interested in them, just by getting that, just yeah, just by showing interest and and seeing what comes out, and that for me is how I play basically. That's way better than mine. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> listen. That's much better advice um, because I think the advice I gave was was how to fake play. <laughs> right. But yeah, for sure. Well, I, think, I think this is fake play too, like what I do. But uh, no, no, I I, I, I I think that that's actually play because yeah because. Yeah, you're you are passing the ball back and forth, right? Um, you don't want to pass the ball just to just to get it back. That's I think. Uh, oh, I want to keep the ball at the other person's place as much as possible. Like that's what I do when I play. It's like okay, get, here, take the ball, keep taking it. If they really? throw it back to me, I'm like really quickly getting rid of it. Like this is this is how you play. <laughs> I think I think that's play. I, that's yeah. actually that's real play. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> but like, I mean, it's just, I, th I think it's just to avoid blast or, or just to avoid um, exposing myself as well in some way. Yeah, that's interesting. So, so to me, when, when I, when I kind of looked back and thought like, oh, I thought I was, I thought I was like playing, right? This is like one last anecdote, anecdote is um, to me, when I pass the ball, I'm expecting someone to blast, right? It's like, mm -hmm. oh, hey, I'm asking a question. You tell me in a concise way, everything you know about this topic, right? Right. And then I'll tell you something. I'll tell you my thing, right? When when it's like my turn, I'm not expecting uh -huh. like a quick like like back and forth, you know. Um, I see. It, even to the degree, like I remember, like we were, we were going karaoke as a group once, and what I really wanted is like, how about I want to see each individual sing, you know? Like I don't want to see like there's all this group singing. You can't really tell who's saying what. I want to see how good everyone is, you know. And then obviously, like some people were not down for that. We didn't end up doing it. But like my tendency was to like I want to see each individual sing. You know, or like maybe a duet or, or whatever. I, I like the, I like the pressure on self and I like the pressure on individuals also. Um, uh -huh. But but yeah, yeah but I, I, I've learned to respect that that's not what everybody wants and that, you know, you, no reason to put pressure on people when they don't want it. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like if you see they're not if you ask them a question, and they're not comfortable answering, then you just backed out, back off. That's like. <laughs> Yeah, play yeah. 101 i guess <laughs> don't just keep pestering them when you see they're getting annoyed that's like yeah <laughs> yeah for sure. for sure yeah well cool man thank you for sharing uh i don't know do you yeah. have anything else that you wanted to say or anything I like think, that i think i got, got it all out <laughs> awesome man well have a good one uh thanks for yeah, coming out too. thanks bye everyone